All right, welcome back and good evening to BJ Max Retro Gamer. This evening we will be playing Alex Kidd and Miracle World. I think it's the European version, released in 1986 for the um, Sega Master System, or you Americans like to call it the Sega Master System. And I believe that system was not popular over there, unlike the um, NES was. Here in Australia, the SMS was popular. In Europe. Yeah, this is one of my childhood favourites. In fact, it's probably the only... It was actually built into the system at the time. What, you know, the Seeker Master System Model 2, or the Seeker Master System 2, or whatever you want to call it. This was actually in the built-in game, game, game ROM, or if you want to be technical about it. Got the system in 1990 from my parents for Christmas, me and my sister at the time. And when I first seen this game, prior to getting this system, I was absolutely blown away. A definite, a definite huge upgrade from the Atari 2600. Big upgrade. I'm not, gonna, I'm not trying to start it, going to start any debates with what Sega versus Nintendo, but I think they both had their advantages. Like the NES has better sound than the Master System, but the Master sy System in turn has the better graphics, more colours, more vibrant. In my opinion, it's a great system. And this game, I think it was Sega's answer to Mario. It was very popular in Australia and Europe. But Sega replaced Alex Kidd with Sonic the Hedgehog in the early 90s. And from then on, I haven't seen Alex ever again. Well, if, if I'm wrong about this, just post it down in the comments. I'm open for any suggestions. This guy here had a lot of issues with back in the day. Yeah, get the question mark. To get the question mark, you must get in a set of threes. You get the first one, you get the um, power bracelet. The second one, you get the ring. Or, sorry, the ghost. That purple ghost that you've seen earlier. And the third one, you get the extra life. Okay. This is a fun section, but it's rather hard. It can be. You must avoid these red... What would you call them? Rocks? To be honest with you, I don't really know. <laughs> and at the end, there's a, whole t there's a tower of them, but you must um, hit them. <coughs> In turn, you <coughs> there it is, you lose your bike. You hit anything. In this game, you got rock, scissors, paper. A very weird boss battle. fight the three bosses what, in, in turn, but not just the um, well, Jankin battle. Ironically, the boss in this game is called Jankin. You have to, um, their heads become disembodied and you have to punch the head in three times in succession. Right, this guy here. You, to, you can destroy him, use the invincibility. But I'm going to try something different. It's a glitch. I'm not controlling him. As you can see. I used to do this glitch all the time as a young boy. And this is a, well, would you call it a bonus level? A secret level? Anything's possible in 1986. It's 
share a little um, bug or a glitch. Okay, it's not gonna work. I'll work with this one. If you punch this, the one over here, I think it corrupts the memory or something, I'm not 100% sure. Alright, um, destroy that block. Show a little, um, thing, it'll... Yeah, that's it. Punch somewhere here. It triggers these coin boxes. In this game, believe me, all the money helps. Sometimes I can play this game with only one life. Game got great reviews back in the day. The mechanics are good. The gameplay is good. See those gold blocks? You punch them, you freeze. You momentarily freeze. So, I don't know what that's all about. They never explain why, but they explain what it does, if that makes sense. We got a bit, of a bit of a quirk here. Something coming in and out of a lava pit. I don't know what it is. Some sort of um, plant. Alright. This section is actually quite difficult if you first play it. Alright. You don't have to get that... Um, Helicopter, by the way. There's a lot of RPG elements in this game. But it's just your standard linear. Didn't have to get that. That's what I did. Alright. Try not to fall into the water. You won't die, but you'll have still you still can do the level, but you'll be underwater. I like to stay above the water, get more. I think you call them Borns, the in-game currency. I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since I've um, read the instruction manual. So, yeah. Well, back in the day, as you know, all these older games were... Notoriously difficult. Nowadays, the games are, well, I don't know, for the most part easier, but you get option, optional download content and online on gameplay, which I'm not into. Alright. Got an option of another. You have to get this one, by the way, if you want to do, do this level with the um, helicopter. I never get worried about this. You can't um, use melee attack. extra life. This will just shoot projectile like little Alex's. There's no point. It's like a magic ball or something. <coughs> Excuse me. I remember me and my sister taking turns in this game. Then eventually we got Wonder Boy 3. The Dragon's Trap. And that game, I'll tell you what, it's one of the best for the system. You could, you either love it or you don't know how to play it. There's no in between. There's no middle ground for that game. I will um, play it in, in the future episodes. Play the, whole, play the whole game through. Yep, just watch you don't um, destroy it. With the blades, you wait till the end. And at the end you got a boss that appears to be a bull. Yeah, I kid you not, the boss is a bull. Just punch it a certain amount of times in succession. And it'll go into some sort of smoke. Puff smoke, or whatever it is, and um, now we have to destroy it. It'll turn into a rice... Oh, what do you call it? A rice cake? It 
some guy will appear and he'll tell you. You read the text. Very hot tonight, so excuse me if I'm wiping my um, head. Alright, this is the cave level, I always, that's what I've always called it. Okay, we'll choose the power bracelet. If you select it, you'll, you'll, it loses its ability in water and you'll have to get it again. Or if you have to change, go to another, if you go to the next level, you'll lose it too. So, with this game, you have to be very, um, know what you're doing, be very diligent, I suppose, at the word for it. See the thing I just got? As you seen there earlier with the um, rock, scissors, paper battle? That is so you can, um, it'll make an, it'll, another bubble will appear over the boss's head so you can see what he's thinking. Scissors, paper, rock or whatever. It's really cliche. The first boss is Stonehead, the second boss is Scissors Head, and the third boss is Paperhead. Oh, but when you're, what, 10 years old, you don't really care. As long as you've got a game to play, you don't care. I played some pretty awful games back in, my, back in the day. I'll show you a little, little quirk here. You become temporarily invincible. Scissors paper's the code for this one. The first one was rock scissors. Stone scissors, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, you can see, um... Excuse me. Well, it's been a Japanese game, it's bound to be... Not a bad thing. Just interesting, different, quirky. Get this, it's a flying cane. It'll give you, it'll give you a, a t an ability to fly, f albeit temporary, but it'll still give, the abil give you the ability to fly. And this level is notoriously hard. It's quite easy to fall into one of these spike pits here, which I do quite frequently still, even to this day. Got lucky. Ah oh, yes, the boat. Don't know where I have no idea where it got it, got it from. It, it, the same rules apply. You fall into it, you hit one of these red things, touch an enemy, you fall down and you have to complete the rest of the level swimming. Don't worry about the bee, it's a waste of time. The bee wand. It just makes the force field arranger, but you can't use melee attacks. You can't punch. Not sure. Don't do this, just go straight ahead and watch out for these purple thunder clouds. Don't know why they're purple, that's how it is. But when you're a kid, you don't care. I actually had a Sega Master System right up until 1997. I was still rocking with one. Alright, okay, he's the first boss he calls himself. First henchman. <coughs> the um, sequence for this one is Rock Scissors. Still remember all the sequences, but if you get one wrong, it knocks all the um, other bosses out of sync. If that makes sense.
This level's gonna slow, yeah. It's not actually a consistent scroll, as you can see. Quite difficult. It's actually buggy too, you can actually um, crash the game. There's a sort of a glitch you can do, you can actually skip floors, all sorts of weird stuff. We won't do it now. And, you know, if you know what you're doing, it's all random anyway, you know, if you go to a certain point, it crashes the game. Excuse me. Very hot tonight, as I said earlier. Because it's still summer over here in Australia, and it's not the most pleasant feeling, trust me. Just watch as this collapses. Yep. Power bracelet comes in handy for this. We used to call it the ring when we were, when we were kids. That's where I used to play this game over and over again. As a ch small child. Okay, there's a code for this. Okay, now we go to have to go and get that um, flag. It's got the um, code to get the crown. You'll see it right at the end of the game. So we must go and get it first before we move on. That will. You probably don't need it if you memorize it without it, that's fine, but I like to get it. There's a level. It's actually a ladder to the king, I think. And if you don't get it, he sends you one of those purple ghosts after you. But if you if you do get it. He'll give you um some sort of um item, it'll give you the um, code to obtain the crown at the last level of the game. Okay, up here we have stone it again, but it's a bit more difficult. You, you stand at rock, scissors, paper, but his head becomes disembodied, starts, fly, starts flying all over the room, and you have to hit it three times in succession. code for this is paper. Twice. Eight bit tunes. Well, take this. Yep. Okay, the the next level is another boss who does the same thing, but his head also becomes disembodied. You'll see. It goes like a pendulum. I usually just get the extra life. Don't worry about the first two. They're redundant anyway against the boss. Don't know why they're there. Because you can't use and access the inventory in the pause menu. You can't actually access... No, you can't even press pause when you're fighting a boss. I don't know why that is. Is it to make it difficulty? Is it a programming error? I don't know. The code for this is stone stone or rock rock. <coughs> Either one. This is actually a little bit tricky. His head it becomes disembodied, but it goes, it swings like a pendulum watch. Okay, I died. Knew it. I knew that it was bound to happen. No matter. I 
has been water supply in it. Alright. Another helicopter. I think it's the final one of the game. Cute, cheesy, different. And it's powered by his feet. It's like a bicycle. Helicopter hybrid, or whatever it's called. I have no idea what you call it, actually. I don't think they exist in real life. Cool if they did. Well, that's for another day. Quick, short, and sweet. Alright, this is, this is, um, I think it's Alex's father. I am 100% sure. That's Alex's father. If I didn't get that, um, letter in the, what, I call it the Redaxian Castle, the other castle, when I was a kid I called it a first castle. <coughs> yeah, what do you mean a ghost here? I mean, what's that, Phil is sending a ghost to kill his own son, that's philosophical. Alright, almost finished the game, people. Bracelet, just get one in case. I don't need that one because I haven't used it, but I will need to have to use it in the next level. I'll show you. Ah, ah. no matter. Ooh. Second last boss, and you can take one guess. Yep. Paperhead. Paperhead. What a Harry. I don't understand. Is it cliche? Couldn't I think of another name for him? I'm sure there's something in Japanese. Go for this as rock scissors or stone scissors. And his head becomes also becomes disembodied. But it goes in a circular motion. I'll show you how to beat him quite easily. Alright. It's quite easy. Alright. The Invisible Castle, the Red Castle, the Third Castle, we used to call it as kids, so... I think I can just breeze through it. So yeah. <coughs> Go for the trapdoor. Let's watch this... What do you call it? Anthropomorphic Flame? I don't know. Is that the accurate word, accurate word for those things? Who knows? Any Honestly, don't know if you ask me. She needs a bracelet, really. Next one has acid. Acid falling from the um, ceiling. Or it's one as a blade or something. I think it's acid. I don't know. To be honest. And I won't be getting the other one up there because I'll probably know what it will be. Maybe something looks like a. At first glance, it looks like a walrus has ghost things. It's, got, it's actually a walking cane. Oh, I have no idea. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, let's do this quickly. Oh, they're redundant there, so what's the point of them? I think that's acid. I'm not 100% sure what it is. So much for going through the game with one life, I've already lost two. Oh, 
Well, I did say that at the beginning of the video, so yeah. Alright, just watch this one. Do not get that question mark, unless you want a, um... A nice little purple ghosty thing chasing you. Alright. Kill these things. What are they, frogs? Are they toads? Oh, who knows with this game. Don't ask me. No, just be quick with one. Very quick. Otherwise you get flattened. Get squashed. And you die. Now we, as we mentioned earlier, we need the walking cane. I don't know what it is, it makes you fly temporarily. Whatever you do, do not go and get that arm um, question mark. Because you can't get back up here. You have to do the harder section with the spikes and you have to swim through them. I could never do it. I think it's way too hard for me. I always do the easy shortcut. Show ya. Punch the fish block here. That's how we can do this. No, didn't think we would. Alright. Okay. Alright, this is the final boss. His head doesn't become disembodied, he just shoots projectiles at ya. And if you touch him, you become... Yeah, that. You become some sort of, um, sculpture. You turn to stone, you become petrified. <clears throat> you write the code is paper paper, much like Stonehead back in the Redaxian castle. I don't know the full story to this game, I'm just finding you know, I know bits and pieces, that's it. Alright, yep. This bit's easy. Now he starts shooting his little blue projectiles. Not in a straight line, they make a weird noise and they go... I should I say, like a wave formation? You'll see. Like this. Petrified. I don't mean scared either. Okay, so you gotta punch him in the horn. Three times in succession. You don't have to get this. But I usually do anyway, and up here you save the princess. Hmm, wonder what game they got that from, huh? Hmm? Ah, it's all good. Okay, this is the final level. I do not want to know what it's called, Lake Something or other. Yep, go for a swim. And go through down through the pit here. This is why this comes in handy. Alright. Okay, this is the end of the game now. That's it. Wasn't very long, was it? <clears throat> Alright, here's the code. Now... Okay, I bought the code. Should be on the um, top left-hand side, so you all, you all can see it. <clears throat> so you just gotta be gentle. So you don't... Make sure you don't slip and run on the, on the wrong ones, because otherwise you'll see a ghost. It'll come down and it will attack, so... I do it all the time, so yeah. You start from the right-hand side and you work to the left. That's how the code works. So yeah. Cries a cry. Deal of concentration. And that's it. Let's jump over these um spikes and you finish the game. That's the end. Yeah. So if you want to read it, be my guest and just read it. So yeah, that's about it for the game. Pretty much the same music, but slowed down. Pretty much the same music throughout the whole game, with a couple of exceptions, actually. Nice. 
yeah, so that's about it really. The end. Well, alright then, thank you for watching this video, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Subscribe, help me out.